Welcome to Books and Storytime by MyBookSummary.com. Let's explore. Practice makes perfect. Sanaa's English journey. Let me introduce you to Sanaa. She's a bright and determined girl with big dreams of mastering a new language, English. Sanaa's journey wasn't easy, but through perseverance and dedication, she found ways to practice on her own, and now she wants to share her story to inspire others. Hello, I'm Sanaa. She begins with a warm smile. Learning English can be tough, but practicing at home is one of the best ways to improve. You don't need fancy classes or someone to teach you every step of the way. All you need is a bit of time each day, a quiet spot, and a lot of patience. When I started, I didn't have anyone to guide me, so I had to figure things out myself. It was hard at first. There were days when I felt like giving up, but I reminded myself that practicing even a little every day would help me improve, and it did. You can do the same. Sanaa's first tip is simple, make a plan. You don't need to study for hours, just a small amount of time each day, maybe 15 or 30 minutes. The key is to stay consistent. I used to sit in my room and read out loud. It was awkward at first and I made a lot of mistakes, but I didn't stop. Slowly, it got easier, and before I knew it, I was reading fluently. She chuckles as she shares a saying that has always stuck with her. Practice makes perfect. It's just like learning to ride a bike. You may fall at first, but if you keep trying, eventually you'll ride smoothly. English is the same. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Listening, according to Sanaa, is just as important. Find songs, podcasts, or videos in English. When I was learning, I would listen to songs and sing along, even though I didn't understand all the words at first. But over time, it got easier, and I actually enjoyed it. Writing was another trick that helped her think in English. Start with simple sentences. Write about your day or your thoughts. I kept a diary and wrote in it every day. It helped me learn new words and express myself better. And what about speaking? If you don't have anyone to talk to, talk to yourself. Yes, it may feel silly at first, but it works. I used to look in the mirror and talk about my day as if I was speaking to a friend. It made me more confident and soon, speaking English became second nature. Sana pauses thoughtfully then adds, learning a language isn't about rushing to the finish line. Take it one step at a time. Today you might practice listening and tomorrow speaking. Little by little, you'll see improvement. One of her favorite methods was watching movies. I watched my favorite movies with English subtitles. It helped me pick up new words and phrases, and I'd even try to mimic the actors. It was a fun way to practice. Sanaa's eyes light up as she talks about how much fun learning can be. Don't forget to enjoy the process. I played word games, did puzzles, and even labeled things around my house in English. Every small effort added up, and I started seeing progress. She encourages others to be patient with themselves. It's okay to make mistakes. I made tons of them, but each mistake was a lesson. So don't be afraid to stumble. Learn from it, and you'll get stronger. With a final, encouraging smile, Sanaa reminds everyone, believe in yourself. Learning English is a journey, and it takes time. But with practice, patience, and perseverance, you will get there. I did, and I know you can too. Stay tuned for more enlightening content. Head over to www.mybooksummary.com. Don't forget to subscribe and share the magic with friends, and let's grow together through the power of books and interesting stories.